Hey guys, welcome back to Salem the Crafting MMO and in this video I'm going to be talking about mining and how to get your mining operations started. And of course mining does lead up to smelting and metalworking but today I'm just going to be focusing on mining and I know you guys have been asking for a video on this for a long time. So how do we get started with mining? Well first things first we're going to have to look at the skills required. So let me bring up my skills tab here and uh, let's see the first thing we're going to have to get of course is under M mining so mining and not too high level of a skill the highest requirement is mines and mountains 2200 this is going to allow you to build uh, mining related structures and just allow you to mine once you get down there uh, but first you're gonna need to get prospecting and again a low level skill mines and mountains requirement 1675 and prospecting is gonna allow you to find or veins as in where you can actually build a mine entrance to go down and start mining so you're gonna need these two skills here and uh uh, let's see, when you, to find an ore vein, you, you gotta go out and look for one so you can build, let's see, under building structures, a mine entrance. You can build one of these, uh, but if you try and just place it anywhere, it's gonna say mines must be built on ore nodes. And that's, uh, that's the tricky part, and it, it's a big consideration when it comes to finally deciding where you're gonna build your final base. So, of course, if you look at my base here, it's, uh, it, it's, it's sort of placed randomly, so I don't have access to any uh, ore nodes here. So how do we find an ore node? Well, with the prospecting skill, you're gonna get a new skill and uh, you need to craft something under craft tools. And if you're fancy, you could craft these dowsing rods which require metal, but uh, beside, uh, starting out you're gonna be needing something a little lower level, which is a woo-woo wand. And it's gonna take one branch, two pieces of leather, leather and myrtle oak leaves. And since we, we've already done some leather production, this shouldn't be any problem. And once you c craft this woo-woo wand, you can equip it and uh, under your adventure, there is the prospect uh, prospect ability, but we're not going to be prospecting around my base. I'm going to bring you out uh, to somewhere near uh, the main town in Providence, and I'm going to show you what ore nodes look like. All right, here we are somewhat south of Providence, and I know for a fact that there are a couple of things I can show you here. So first things first, let's uh, zoom out so we actually get a better view of the landscape. And let's, uh, in case you're wondering, I do have a tool belt equipped which has my woo woo wand inside, so I don't have to uh, manually equip it. I'm gonna go to Adventure and I'm gonna click on Prospect. And you can see I'm now holding the woo woo wand and I've got this arrow kind of spinning around my head. Now this arrow is gonna point to two different things. It's gonna show or nodes or water water sort of patches like this which water patches are of course uh, for wells so uh, let's see if i have this well here uh, wells must be placed on water nodes so that's a water node right there if i try to to build a well on top of it obviously i i shouldn't be able to Oh no, I can actually. This is this is Providence's territory, but I could build a water node on that. But we're not looking for water nodes. We're looking for ore nodes. So somewhere where, where we could build a mine. And you can see the arrow sort of points to the nearest node. It's now currently pointing to that water node. Uh, and it sort of updates every now and again. But uh, let's see, we can walk over this way to sort of move away from that... Uh, water node and we're looking for an ore node so there should be one somewhere around here just looking into this arid land and it seems like i'm having a bit of there we go that, that that's one over there that's an ore node so this is what we're looking for when it comes to mining so if it, you're taking these into consideration when building a base you, you want to try and build near or on these sorts of nodes this ore node and that water node as well having a well in your base is quite handy but if you're near a river then it's not so important but having uh, this ore node that is very important so once you find this ore node you will be able to construct a mine entrance on it. So if I go ahead and try to construct a mine entrance on it, 
Uh, this land is owned by Providence, so I'm not going to be able to do it. But uh, that's what you're looking for. But of course, in the town I'm living in, we do have a public mine that we can use. So I'm just going to head on over to the public mine and I can start to show you some mining stuff. All right, here we are at my town, well, my, my village's public mine entrance, and we have this little mine which we, we are all allowed to use. And you can see there's a, a, a couple structures around here, but this, this one thing here I want to show you is an ore smelter. When we finally get to smelting ore, we're going to need to do this. But the big irony of it is to build an ore smelter. Let's see, it's under metalworking structures, ore smelter. To build an ore smelter which allows you to produce metal, it requires three bars of pig iron, so you need metal before you can produce metal, which means for your first bit of metal, you're gonna have to buy it off from the player stores or trade it with someone. So check the forums to see if anyone's actually selling bar of pig iron. Uh, but that, that's sort of one of the main difficulties of starting your metal working. You, you need to buy metal. All right, so here we have a mine entrance which I can go down. And uh, there's a few things that you should prepare when you are about to go mining. So here's my inventory here. You can see, of course, I have a bunch of food, which I, I got these roasted hickory nuts and roasted rabbit cuts just to eat if I absolutely need it. And uh, I've also prepared one tea. Like my last episode, I showed you how to brew tea. But this time I've got white tea, which is going to restore phlegm because mining is hard work. So having some tea to restore your phlegm is going to be very handy. And then one problem you're going to be facing is spending a lot of time down in the mine, you might start to gain points into your insanity. So, especially if it's really dark, darkness sort of accelerates insanity. So having a bunch of stuff to study on hand, just random free things that you find everywhere, you know, autumn leaves, uh, perfect autumn leaves, chest straight chestnuts, rusty coins, wood chopping, smooth stones, stuff you just find everywhere. Having these on hand and studying one every like five or six minutes will we'll just sort of keep insanity off you. And then of course I have a torch. Now a torch is very useful to have, it's pretty easy to make and uh, it, it just requires uh, torches, the skilled torches here. Very low level skill so you should have it already, especially if you're going mining. And having a torch is very very useful. And of course have a couple tinder drills on you and you can see these maple leaves, uh, it's fuel for my torch and a couple branches if you need any of that. Uh, for more fuel or building fireplaces and stuff like that. So let's jump down into the mine and the music does change, it gets quite dramatic. And here we have a mine and this is what it looks like. It's pretty dark, it's currently lit up a little bit by this uh, this sort of jacko lamp. Th these jacko lamps are very very useful but of course much higher level. Uh, but if you have a high level friend who does pumpkin planting, uh, well you can get these crafted. They sort of act as really really long torches. They, they just stay lit for a long time and what's great is if I go ahead and equip my torch, let me uh, uh, take this woo woo wand off of me, I can, uh, if this jack o -lantern, lantern is lit, I can go ahead and light this torch on it. Now the torch currently has 100 fuel remaining. If I right click on this jack o lantern, it will light this torch. And keeping light on you down here is quite important, especially just to keep uh, insanity away. So here we go, lighting a torch. It's now lit and there we go, I now have a light on me. And here's another unlit jack-o-lantern, which you can use a tinder drill to light it, but we can go ahead and use the, the lit torch to go ahead and light everything we need to light. So this is great for lighting fireplaces. You can see a fireplace right here, which we can just go ahead and let, let's just say I'm gonna put one branch in there. And I'm gonna use the torch to light the fireplace. So this is a great way to just uh, get all this, this, this area lit up. So now, what are we actually looking at down here? Now that we've lit up the place, we've, we've, we're looking at quite a bit and uh, well, you, you're gonna see all this, this sort of cracked walls and stuff like that, but some of it's gonna look different. You can see this stuff over here looks a bit more grayish and there's basically, this is, this is a sort of rubble wall, which is just gonna yield rubble boulders if you mine it. Uh, this is ore wall, so this is uh, iron, I'm pretty sure, and uh, this is an iron boulder which we can get iron ore from. And of course you're gonna look for a more goldy looking one which is gonna be 
uh, copper, and there is also silver, which is all very, very valuable. And metals in general are quite valuable. And of course, you can see these sort of pillars here. These pillars are important because if you dig out too far away from them, you're gonna see dust falling from the from the top. And if you leave that there for too long, you're gonna that, there's gonna be a cave in, and uh, you don't want to be around when that happens. But if you uh, want to stop that from happening, and uh, uh, buildings and structures, you can build mine supports, and you can see it's got a bit of a radius sort of protecting it. And just building one every uh, 10 tiles, if you get the area selection tool, if you build one every 10 tiles apart from each other, you're generally gonna be safe. So, let's get to mining. So, of course, when you start out with no, no, uh, abilities to to make anything metal you're only gonna have your standard axe your stone axe so let's go ahead and try mine you can see under adventure you're gonna have the mine ability i've put it in the quick uh, hotkey bar down here so i can go ahead and click on this uh, left click on the the button and be careful when you you click on the wall if you click too far back your character's just gonna walk up to the wall okay <laughs> you you actually got to click on the base of that tile and you need a pickaxe to mine ore. So getting a pickaxe is another investment. I, I, I had a friend who gave me a pickaxe, but pickaxes you can buy from the player stalls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and equip myself this pickaxe. And here we go. Now that I've got a pickaxe equipped, I'll be able to mine this piece of wall here. So I click the bottom and you can see it drains quite a lot of phlegm. It took out about 10? Uh, 10 points of phlegm and now I've got this boulder so let me put this down and from the boulder we can chip stone and because I just sort of took out this this rubble wall here I just get bits of rubble so that's not so great but meanwhile over here we have this ore wall so let's go ahead and mine that again left click on the base of it here we go mining it out again draining phlegm quite heavily and I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. And if I chip stones off of this, we're gonna get iron ore. And you can see this is the stuff that we turn into bars of iron later on. And of course, all of this is draining a lot of phlegm. So at this point, it might be a good idea to sort of, uh, let me, uh, here I'm gonna have to unequip the torch, equip the bark cup full of uh, white tea, and I'm gonna take a sip. And having having this regen on you is is something that's just uh, quite nice. Now, let me relight this torch. Every time you light the torch, it does lose uh, seven percent of its fuel. But refueling it is quite easy, considering we have all these leaves on us. So now that I've got this phlegm regen, which is going up, you can of course drink more white tea to hasten that up. So this torch now has eighty one percent fuel remaining. I'm just gonna. Uh, pick up a maple leaf and right click on the torch and it's now at 97% fuel remaining. So you can refuel torches pretty easily with leaves. All right, so what else do you need to know about mining? Well, as you mine through, you're gonna see a few tiles which are much darker than this. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture of one off the wiki, but uh, a tile which is much darker than the standard rubble wall. If you want to mine through that, you have to quote unquote soften the wall first. So to soften the wall you actually have to just go ahead and build a pile of wood near that wall and light it and it takes two hours and after two hours of that uh, pile of wood burning near that uh, darkened wall the darkened wall will be soft enough for you to mine through. And then after that, as you mine through, you're gonna find certain drop downs. Now what's a drop down? Well, mining actually has many different tiers and it can go down and down and down. So uh, right now I'm just on tier one, sort of level one, and it goes much lower down. But you should be careful about going down drop downs because it's not a ladder or a nice stair. You actually fall down the hole and you take damage. Uh, so, um, if you're gonna go dropping down somewhere, make sure you clear your inventory because you won't perma-die, but you will be knocked out and you'll have to respawn and your inventory will drop. And of course, if your inventory drops on a le level that you can't get to, you're not gonna get any of that stuff back. So be careful about drop downs. 
But that generally covers the basics of getting your mining operations started. You can see I've got a bunch of boulders here. And once you hack a boulder off the wall, chipping doesn't take too much effort. You can see here I can chip stone and... Of course, I am using a, a metal pickaxe here, which uh, does speed things up, but generally it doesn't take too much phlegm anymore. And it, it chips stones just like chipping stones off of normal stones and, and stuff like that, and limestones. So, that's how you basically get started with mining, and uh, I hope that that helps. Uh, you gotta start out by getting prospecting, finding an ore vein, and uh, what you can do is you can claim the ore vein on the surface, a note on inside this mine, you can't claim territory down here, you can't build a claim stone. You can build structures, they won't deteriorate, you can see these boxes and this anvil over here, they, they won't break down. But uh, bodies and corpses will, so if you die down here and you want to retrieve the body, do it relatively quickly so the body doesn't disappear. But okay, so that, that really does cover the basics of mining and... Uh, that should be enough to get you started. Of course, there, there is a lot more to go through, uh, a, a little bit of a secret. If you mine down to the lowest level of the mine, it actually links all the mines together. So be careful about mining down to the lowest level, down many, many drop downs, uh, because when it links the mines together, then people can actually come up through your mine. So yes, that, that, that is a risk. But at this early stage, I don't think you're going to be digging down that far. You're just going to be focusing on some basic ore mining and stuff like that. And of course, the, the hardest part is going to be probably buying a, a decent pickaxe. It, it really is worth the investment. It's going to save you so much pain. And, and just, just get a nice pickaxe. With the, with the cotton farming that you should have been doing for, going for so long, you should be able to afford a, a decent pickaxe. Check the forums. You, you'll probably get cheaper prices. All right, so that wraps up the basics of mining in Salem. And remember, if you'd like to support the channel and support the game, there's a referral link down in the description box down below. Uh, and you know how a referral link works. I'm pretty sure you do. Uh, it, it sort of if you create an account with a referral link and you buy stuff off the store, well, uh, I, I do get a cut of that. But you don't have to, of course. Salem is free to play. All right, so that, uh, that wraps up uh, my Salem video about mining basics. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.